What's up everybody, welcome to Video Tech. So if you watched my previous video, you saw that when I added my new RGB, the Commander Pro and all the lighting and everything into my new system, I had to take out my two hard drives, my eight terabyte and my one two terabyte to make space. So that left me in a predicament where I don't have enough space. So I only had 240 gigs of SSD storage. So I had to make a plan and this is where this is coming from so this is my old case you've probably seen it in a lot of my videos it's my NZXT switch um, so it's a nice big case but almost looks actually like a server so that's what I'm actually gonna turn it into today so I have six hard drives here so these are two 500 gigs so it's thousand terabyte with them this is a two terabyte my eight terabyte and then two two terabyte with some digital blacks so all in all 15 terabytes of storage and all of the all of those are gonna fit inside here to create my storage server a nature thingy so <laughs> that's pretty much what this video is gonna be of me just building my server and then setting everything up so yeah I'm gonna put it through my network uh, run everything through that uh, put all my storage on I at the moment I don't have like that much I don't need that much storage but I am planning for the future so um, through all my movies games and especially now with my video files like I'm keeping everything um, so that does take up a lot of space and that's where this is gonna come in handy so if later on I want to get like a 4k camera or something like that start game recording to keep the footage uh, that's going to take up a lot of space so this is where it will uh, be covered so I don't have to worry about storage then. so yeah that's pretty much it um, this is going to be like a time-lapse build so it's pretty straightforward so yeah here we go okay so just some quick information about what the server has inside so it's running a i7 930 so it's a, a first generation i7 uh the motherboard is a asus something something i'm not sure i'll leave links in the description below it does have uh six ram slots that i'm not going to use i'm only going to use these two so for uh, eight gigs of ram later on if i want to i can add more uh, but for now that's fine at the moment it has my 980 inside but i'm going to take that out and just put in a normal graphics card a basic one um, so i perhaps later on i will use this as my storage server and then perhaps let's say as a rendering server or something like that uh, but for now just storage so i'm going to take that out that ram is fine i do have more ddr3 ram that i can add there if i wanted to but like i said for storage you don't really need that much so yeah hard drive out basic one i'm gonna add another power supply because the 700 watt raid max is a bit too big um and yeah so that's pretty much it so let's put everything inside Okay, so I ran into my first problem. The power cables isn't long enough. So it's long enough through here, but if I uh, put it through any of the cable management sleeves, then it doesn't want to. It doesn't want to fit. Same with the power up here. It doesn't want to fit. So if I put it in a graphics card, even without a graphics card, it doesn't want to fit. So. Um, Guess I have to go back to the 700 watts, so I'll just have to use that. And then one other thing, I did check, but I didn't think of it uh, immediately. The motherboard only has six SATA connections, and the case actually comes with a hot swappable bay. So I won't be able to use the hot swappable bay then because it is SATA powered as or well, SATA connected as well. So that's unfortunate, but that's okay. I do have. 15 terabytes of storage which is enough so yeah just gonna swap everything back again and then hopefully there's nothing else that i didn't foresee so yeah let's get to it
we go. So as you guys can see, there is the six hard drives. So my 500, my eight terabytes, one of my two terabytes, uh, another two terabytes, another two terabytes, and then the 500. So gonna sort all of these out. So the it's all messed around. Um, I have to clean them up a bit and then just resort everything because a lot of them was like in different systems and uh, yeah, So it's a mess. So I'll have to sort that out, but everything works. So that's good um, So all in all 15 terabytes of storage. That's pretty crazy um, So yeah at the moment I probably won't use all of it But later on I definitely will especially if I keep making these videos because they do take up a lot of space so let me just quickly show you guys the system when it's done. Okay, so that is it. So um, I did went with the other power supply. As you can see, my the first one because, like I told you, the cables weren't long enough to actually fit to for the motherboard. So for the CPU and for the motherboard, so I had to use the old 700 watt power supply. And then I thought, why not just go put it in the 980 again? Because there's going to be a waste to have a 700 watt power supply with, uh, with a graphics card that can power be powered from the PCI Express. So I just went with it. Perhaps I can use it for a rendering system as well. Um, it does have a nice i7, although it is first generation. It should be able to handle everything I throw at it. And also I added uh, two more gig, uh, four more gigs of RAM. So all in all, that's 12 now. So perhaps later on I will add more to that as well. I do have about 24 gigs of of Corsair Vengeance memory. So, but that's in my other gaming system, and some of them is at a friend's house. So, um, yeah, perhaps later on if I do use the system a lot, I will move to that. But for now, this is fine. So 980 and then i7 so the case is a bit dirty as you probably saw um, i am gonna clean this up later on um, i it's just late at night now and i don't have the have the energy energy to do that now so um i perhaps i'm gonna change out the fans as well because this one is a bit loud uh, top one as well it does rattle a bit so i think the bearings is bi uh, busy failing so i'll just have to replace that but yeah it all of them or in there um, what cool is you can actually add fans here as well if you saw that in the beginning so I can keep the hard drive school but it should be fine for now I do have a fan here in the front so yeah um, but yeah 15 terabytes of storage that's pretty crazy um, like I said I'm proud at the moment I'm not gonna use all of it but I definitely uh, I'm gonna use a lot more later on so I am future proofing here so yeah Okay, that's it for the build, so I hope you guys enjoyed the quick video. I'm not sure how long it's gonna be, it's probably gonna be a bit quick. Uh, but yeah, it was just like a quick server build. I am gonna do like software later on just to try and optimize all the storage. Don't think I'm gonna do RAID though, uh, because all of the hard drives is different sizes and everything. Um, so I'm just gonna keep it at that and I never know when one is gonna fail, that's a problem. Some of them are a bit old. Like my one two terabyte Samsung is probably the first external hard drive like two terabyte I bought. It's probably like in 2009, so it's still going strong. I still use it almost every day, so still like it. Um, but yeah, I never know when it's gonna fail, so that's a problem. But yeah, um, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and comment like always. Also, if you want me to do more builds like this, just random stuff I build here at my house in my off time, <laughs> please let me know in the comments below and I'll try to do some more stuff. But just one more thing, please remember about my monthly game giveaways where I give a free game out every month to it's internationally so anybody can win. And also about the 5,000 subscriber uh, Cougar Gaming Chair giveaway, which is sponsored by Rebel Tech. So that's unfortunately only for South Africa. But yeah, if you can just check out the link in the video description and just do a few clicks and you are entered to win a game. And then if you're in South Africa, also the gaming chair. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers guys.